Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a free website made by NASA where you actually get to explore the rover missions using this relatively simple and kind of cute flash game that was made in this particular website that uh, essentially teaches you about the rover missions, what they've discovered and what their plans are as well. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> And just for the sakes of this video, let's just choose one of these. I'm going to choose Opportunity. So, welcome to Mars. Choose a rover and begin exploring the geology of this unique planet. So this is actually a point and click game. You drive your rover around looking for points of interest that will then teach you something really interesting. If you get lost or if you don't really know what you're doing, you can always click on map right here just to see where you're located and where you can go and what you can find there. So it's telling us to go left. Let's go left and let's see what we can actually find there. And this is obviously the land inside. This is where um, Opportunity landed and you get to see the photos here as well. The photos uh, that Opportunity took when it landed on Mars. First discovery, Stone Mountain. What is this? Apparently it's a rock. So here's the thing. Most things you'll discover in this game will be rocks, but some of them will be actually kind of interesting. Scientists use Opportunity's microscopic imager to snap photos of a small part of Stone Mountain nicknamed Robert E. So there's some spherical features that have been discovered here and this might be actually interesting. You get to see the actual photos that uh, this rover took. You get to see uh, actually in different spectra as well. I didn't even see this before. And um, quite a lot of other information that will teach you all about this particular discovery. As you keep going, you discover more and more things and you learn what this is all about and also why it is important. And you also get to see the photos and the selfies that every rover took on their mission um, or during their mission on Mars. Now I'm going to actually leave this crater and go outside for a second just to show you that there's actually so much stuff to discover here. And some of it is actually kind of interesting. So if I were to leave this crater by going right, or I guess I can just click here, leaving Eagle Crater. And then I want to basically ride uh, all the way to the right I will discover something else very, very interesting, something very unusual. And this something is going to be maybe one of these things. Let's see, this is a crater. This describes the crater and shows you the photos of that crater. This is endurance crater. This is not what we're looking for. This is an S chair, and I believe this is a sign of repeated wet history. So this actually showed us that once upon a time, long time ago, Mars actually had liquid water. Uh, so that's also not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is something a little bit different. So we're going to keep rolling to the right here and hopefully discover it uh, somewhere to the right. I think it's somewhere to the right. And there we go. Look at that. Can you guess what this is? Well, this right here is a heat shield. This is a heat shield that was used by this mission to basically land on Mars. Uh, and interestingly, right next to this heat shield, the rover discovered something else very unusual. It discovered, well, first of all, it discovered that the heat shield was actually inside out, which is very interesting. Uh, so it's possible because of the heat it actually got kind of folded and bent so now it's all inside out but it then discovered the first ever meteorite on another planet it actually discovered this rock lying right next to the heat shield which is actually very very impressive and also very lucky so this right here is a picture of the first ever meteorite on another planet and so that's essentially the area next to the Eagle Crater and you can also travel more and discover some other things. Now it takes a little bit uh, to load each of the levels but once you do it will actually uncover an opportunity for you to discover even more things and you can also just check the map if you just want to go through this really quickly and on every map it will tell you what you're about to find, what it's going to look like and what are the photos that this particular rover took when it got there. So. You know what, for people that actually love things like geology or that love exploring and learning about Mars, this is a super, super awesome miniature uh, mini game. It's very easy to play, there's no way you can lose, and I guess I wouldn't even call this a game, it's more of an exploration or like a walking simulator. And um, once you're done with this particular mission, you can go home and choose Spirit. And this is the other rover that you get to uh, ride around and discover even more things using it. And so essentially this is what um, this uh, miniature simulation known as Drive the Mars Rovers is. And this is essentially what you can expect if you go and check it out by yourself. 
I mean, it's free, it does teach you stuff about Mars, and honestly, I don't see why you wouldn't go and try it right now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and thank you NASA for making this particular simulation. This is actually pretty cool, and I've definitely learned a lot more about Mars, but just by playing this for a few minutes. And anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to do something else and learn something else using video games. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to come back tomorrow to learn something else, to watch me play a video game, or possibly do something completely different. I'll see you in the next video. Share and subscribe. Game later. Space out. Bye-bye.